On June 1st, everyone's favourite boy wizard returned to LEGO form with a wave of new sets dedicated to celebrating the 20th anniversary of the LEGO Harry Potter franchise in all its glory. The new sets not only expand the LEGO wizarding world, but much like the special anniversary LEGO Star Wars sets we saw a couple of years ago, Harry Potter's latest bricked adventures include additional special edition collectibles. A large portion of the new sets include a specially printed golden minifigure of a popular character from the franchise, as well as random collectible wizard cards. These collectibles are a great incentive for collecting the full list of sets on offer and brilliantly add to the anniversary celebration of one of contemporary literature's most beloved franchise in LEGO form. A number of the new sets do connect together beautifully to create a huge multi-level display with elements inspired from the Philosopher's Stone, that's the Sorcerer's Stone if you're American, and the Chamber of Secrets. Now, one of the three sets that make up this amalgamation is the low-priced Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake, which is my first build in the new anniversary collection. Based on the Chamber of Secrets movie scene, where our young heroes attempt to brew Polyjuice in order to sneak into the Slytherin's dorm room, the set features the primary trio of heroes in minifigure form, as well as an elegant 200 plus piece recreation of the second floor girls' lavatory, more commonly known as Moaning Myrtle's Bathroom. This is definitely a great entry point for those looking to explore the new series. So let's take a look at the minifigures. Now with a set in this price range, finding the three main characters from the series as well as a special edition golden minifigure of the titular character is incredible value for collectors, especially considering the new Chamber of Secrets inspired variants of Harry, Ron and Hermione. The only disappointment with all of the minifigures, the short legs don't feature the bendable legs that we saw in the minifigures collection a couple of years ago. Now I have to start with the stunning golden Harry Potter minifigure. Look at the glorious beauty. I was a big fan of how Star Wars celebrated their 20th anniversary retro looking minifigures, but very glad that Lego decided to try something different with Potter. The golden minifigures show up across the new wave, and so I'm genuinely surprised that they put what will likely be one of the most sought after in the cheaper set. Almost entirely golden from head to toe, the minifigure features a secondary yellow tone, a light red and dark red outlines to detail the character's Gryffindor Hogwarts garb. The front of the torso features a v-neck sweater wearing Harry in bronze with the Gryffindor logo, as well as shirt and tie. In addition to the standard waistlines and crease lines, the printing also includes sparkle shapes of varying sizes, used to emphasise the golden design. The headpiece features only one face, it's pretty standard, it's uh, Harry wearing glasses, and it's almost entirely golden apart from utilising the red outlines. Similarly, the hairpiece design will be familiar to anyone that has one of the younger Harry Potters, it's exactly the same, but it's usually in black and this time it's in gold. The figure also features a golden wand. The back of the figure also includes a sparkle design, though it's almost entirely covered by the 20 years LEGO Harry Potter Special Edition branding. Unlike the aforementioned Star Wars anniversary figures, the stand tile doesn't feature any printing whatsoever. Now, away from the Special Edition minifigure, the normal figs in the set have three different looks that can be achieved, used to approximate the Polyjuice incident from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. First up, it's Hermione Granger, and the very interesting addition here is the feline headpiece. As fans will know, the trio's first adventure with Polyjuice went a tiny bit sideways for poor Hermione, who ended up using a hair from a cat rather than a Slytherin student. The result? was a human-cat hybrid which is recreated fantastically with this unique over the head piece as the design merges the shape of the hair piece usually used for the character but with cat printing on the front. The piece also features moulded ears on the top. Strangely the figure doesn't come with a tail piece. The more human version of the character is almost identical to previous sets with regards to the hair and the dual printed headpiece. The major change however is the Slytherin uniform she is wearing which includes colour specific printing on the logo and tie and portrays a v-neck sweater underneath a partially closed cloak. The back of the torso is fairly simple with outline printing showing the crease lines and the cloak hood. The cat headpiece is definitely the major selling point with this figure. Moving on to Harry, and he's definitely not happy about something as his headpiece features a very angry face. 
The most interesting aspect of this Harry variant is that the other side of the headpiece features a completely different face. In case you've not watched the movies recently or aren't familiar, during the scene that this set is based on, Harry and Ron use Polyjuice to turn into Slytherin students Crabbe and Goyle, and Lego have found a fantastic way to bring that transformation to life in brick form. Despite the simplicity on the facial design, the designer has done a fantastic job of approximating the actor that plays the character in the movie, with a subtle, quizzical look to him. Along with Harry's standard younger minifigure hair, the fig also comes with a secondary hairpiece more fitting for Crab. Torso and legs wise, the minifigure is exactly the same as Hermione in terms of slipper and uniform. Much like Harry, Ron too features a unique two-person headpiece showing his transformation into Goyle. Ron's own face is one of Grimace, clearly having just downed the potion for the first time, with a large misshapen mouth, squinting eye and raised orange eyebrows. The other face on the head again does a really good job of recreating the Slytherin student from the movie, with his small mouth and podgy cheeks. Along with younger Ron's signature hairpiece, Goyle himself gets his own dark brown parted hair. Much like the other two figures, the rest of the figure in terms of the design is the Slytherin uniform printing. The three minifigures offer a wonderful amount of flexibility for play purposes and also recreating the Polyjuice potion scene in Lego form. One other aspect to consider is that if you've already got a Harry and Ron that look very similar to this in terms of design, then this set essentially gives you a bricked up version of Crab and Goyle minifigures to use elsewhere. So you're getting a lot of value for your money in terms of minifigures here. Moving on to the main build, and it is a small recreation of the second floor girls lavatory, more commonly known as Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. This 16 by eight build packs a lot of detail into such a small set. And as you can see, there are Technics connectors on the right side because it's modular. Being a little over 200 pieces, the, the actual build itself, it's not gonna set back the average builder more than about 30 minutes at best. And the only stickers included are the three shiny metallic mirrors. In terms of build techniques used, there isn't anything overly mind blowing that we haven't seen in other themes, though the design of the toilet in the cubicle is definitely something I've not seen elsewhere. It uses vertically sitting two by one pieces on a one stub lamp holder, rather than the more traditional horizontal stacked approach. The cubicle door itself isn't familiar either, and yet a great addition to the set. Though we tend to have bathroom doors just a little bit lower to the floor here in the UK, the largest section of the build is the tap area, which is made up of three individual builds, primarily white with golden taps and a light gray 2x1x2 piece to add the metallic sticker for the mirror. The left and right taps are clipped on directly to the back wall of the build and remain static, whilst the middle tap area is actually connected to a hinge, so it allows you to lift it up to reveal a secret entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. For such a small build, a small set in general in this price range that already offers so much in terms of play options with the versatile minifigures, this is just an added bonus. The simplistic use of white rounded pieces to construct the pillars on either side of the golden taps works exceptionally well. It looks fantastic and the end result adds an incredible level of detail to what could have otherwise been quite a bland area with such few pieces. In addition to the bathroom layout, the set also includes a cauldron, mixing spoon, and a couple of ingredient bottles as well. It's great for play or display, really. Overall, as my first experience with the 20th anniversary Harry Potter sets, I am very pleased with the quality of this build, the fantastic minifigures, and the value for money which you get with the Polyjuice Potion Mistake set. As one of the cheapest sets, you really do get your money's worth here with the three main characters in the franchise in new variants, two of which actually double up as Crab and Goyle minifigures brilliantly. The bathroom is fantastically detailed, well designed and strong. It successfully, <laughs> it successfully survived a drop to the floor from my desk, put it that way. The 16x8 room is a perfect example of LEGO's continued brilliance when it comes to creating great detail with minimal parts, and the fact that the only stickers in the build are the actual mirrors uh, just adds to the build quality design so much. The golden Harry Potter minifigure is just the cherry on the top, a fantastic collectible that will forever have a special place in my collection. 
Well, that is until I open up the Chamber of Secrets set and build that at least because I know there is a certain Dark Lord in there in golden form. Anyway, fun build, great play opportunities, a wonderful display piece and amazing minifigures. Well worth the purchase for any Lego Harry Potter fan. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please do like the video if you've enjoyed it. Comment if you've got the set. I'd love to know what you think. And please do subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more coming. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back very soon with another video. Bye-bye.